YouTube, this your boy down low back with another industry talk. So Action Bronson's YouTube series that Fuck That's Delicious, it got picked up for a cable show now. For the second season, man, and you know what? That's what's up, man. I definitely like to see that. Anybody who haven't seen the show, it's pretty much Wiz Khalifa day to day, but with a lot of cooking involved in it, man. And you know, it eggs the question, why the fuck hasn't Wiz Khalifa's day to days been picked up by like a TV show network? Them bitches is just as, if not more, popular than this Action Bronson shit, but I do like what Action Bronson is doing here. I'm not knocking anything about it, and I'm happy that it's opening doors, because I wouldn't be shocked to see now Wiz Khalifa get picked up for some shit. Next, the TV show Empire broke a 23-year record, man, by continually increasing the fan viewership per episode for the first five episodes of the series' existence. And you know what? This show has definitely grown on me, man. Like, when it first started, I'm like, okay, these guys is on some coon shit. I really can't get with it. But then, as the episodes progressed, they started going away from it a little bit, man. And the episodes just have getting better and better, man. I definitely recommend people to go ahead and watch that joint now. And that type of stuff, man, definitely leads to multiple series and such. Like, it already signed on for the second season. I wouldn't be shocked to see this go up to, like, five, six. Next, Talib Kweli and a bunch of others, they created a Indiegogo page a while ago, man, in which it was pretty much to create a defense fund for the protesters out in Ferguson, man, in which the goal was $25,000 to do it. They ended up getting 100000 in which that is what the fuck I'm talking about, dude. A lot of people want to say, oh, these protesters and all these motherfuckers, they're not serious about a revolution or nothing. When you raise $100,000 fucking dollars for something like this, that means you serious. You putting your money behind the shit that you talking about. Now, I'm definitely keeping my eyes on it to make sure that this money is going towards the things that they saying it should go to. But this definitely shows the will of the motherfucking people, dude. And we've been seeing rap song after rap song lately of people knocking the damn protesters and shit out there, man. But when the people do something like this, it takes away all of that credibility that these people were saying, oh, black on black crime, all of that bullshit. And how our people ain't serious about making some shit actually fucking happen. And lastly, news has it that Kanye West was in the lab trying to resurrect the career of Will Smith and he's executively producing Rihanna. And in terms of business, I'm happy to see Kanye diversifying himself, man. But in terms of music, I'm like, oh God, no. Bringing back Will Smith, I really don't think that's going to be that damn good here as a rapper. And executively producing Rihanna, that could either go one of two ways. Either he'll actually bring something dope to the table to take her up another notch, or he's just along for the ride and it's more of like a commercialized statement type shit, and it could end up being fucking terrible. But only time's gonna tell in this man, but I am happy to see him diversifying himself, doing some stuff behind the damn scenes. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.